Hello, my name is Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm a YouTube entertainer and celebrity, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury channel. Remember, like, subscribe and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. Today I want to talk about customers in Singapore. And uh, I got to tell you something, although the streets were packed full, although Orchard Road was full of people on a Sunday, I can tell you where one place was where it was pretty bare the wristwatch the luxury wristwatch stores they were pretty empty in fact the only time <clears throat> the only time i saw a whole lot of customers going through and looking at watches was some a bunch of chinese tourists in the duty free dfs store in orchard road and i gotta tell you the chinese what a huge market and uh it's just a shame that uh, that market has really hit the skids. It's uh, very, very sad. And I, and I got to tell you the truth there. I went to many stores in Singapore which were selling wristwatches and very, very empty. Crowded, you know, with uh, staff, but no customers on display. No customers. I went, went into quite a few stores and they just pounce on you. Oh, hello, sir. Can we help you? Can we help you? And uh, it's, it's a little bit what you'd call desperate. The, uh, the Chinese tourists, they come in by the busload. They feed them through like a sausage factory at DFS Orchard Road. You start at the top. You take this escalator up and there's only one way down. You've got to go through every store. And I've got to be honest with you, like the Chinese, hate the Chinese, but that is, that is what moves watches in Singapore. It's the Chinese market. This is the great saviour, the great unwashed beast, the elephant in the corner. The elephant in the corner. It's the Chinese tourist. And I've got to be honest with you, I was talking to a good friend of mine in Australia, He's uh, possibly listening to this here. He's a very successful accountant. And he told me he got really crappy service in uh, one of the Rolex dealers in Sydney. He wanted to buy a bluesy. And they kind of laughed at him, said, oh, we don't have those available, sir. But you've got to understand, the Caucasian, Caucasian with money is a it's a it's like the uh tasmanian tiger it's a very endangered species and i gotta be honest these watch shops they know their punter the punter they know their market share they know who to target and the uh the customer to target is the chinese tourist the chinese tourist that is who is buying in singapore and i've gotta be honest with you there there are so many luxury wristwatch stores in singapore i don't know how the fuck they all survive and they all have the same shop fit out they want that corporate look the corporate look they gotta look the same be professional well i gotta tell you it's looking very very bleak indeed and the only customers I saw in any numbers were Chinese tourists. <clears throat> How did I know they're Chinese tourists? Because they were wearing badges, which when they're in a tour group, tour group, fuckers. And this is the harsh reality of business in Asia. 
Mr. Caucasian tourist, you fucked around for too long. You asked price, check this, check that. We don't need your custom anymore. Well, we do, but it's a, we don't bank on it. We bank on Chinese tourists. And this is the reality that luxury watches is in Singapore. They are geared, they are geared towards the Chinese tourist. That is where the money comes from. <clears throat> and I kid you not, I kid you not, fuckers. You need to understand the economics of supply and demand and how the market works. The Chinese tourist is the only thing keeping the watch business going in Singapore. The Chinese tourist. And I gotta tell you what, fuckers. It's a grim, <coughs> bumpy ride in store. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting live from Singapore.